Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description. Good morning, everybody. It's a new day. Today, we're going to go tie down a load of steel, and we're going to drag it on towards Alberta. It's got to go to Atchison, Alberta, last I heard. i got to go get the paperwork, tie it down, and head out. It's a little over a day's drive to get there, so I'll get a little ways tonight, and we'll do the rest of it tomorrow. I've got to deliver it first thing Monday morning. I don't have a reload from there yet, but I'm assuming i got to come back here. They'll keep me busy nearby anyways for the next week because we have that early Christmas gathering. The Christmas gathering is actually Britt's sister and brother-in-law. They're going to be gone for Christmas. I thought it was one of her parents. All I know is there's some Christmas going on next weekend, and I'm excited. We haven't got our tree up yet because, uh, well, I explained that to you in, I think, yesterday's video. But I have a feeling it might go up in the next week. <laughs> I don't care what you say. I love Christmas. A lot of people died so I could celebrate it, so I'm going to celebrate it. Whoever brought this here to the yard from the shipper left all their straps on it. So I'm going to find out who that was and thank them. And then make sure that all of their equipment gets back to them after this trip. So often people don't return things, you know. That's a lot of work that was put into this. I got my tarps on the back here already. Two more of their tarps yet, too. This is a really nice and huge favor. You know, very often, uh, well, the way we do it here is the straps stay with the truck, usually. A lot of other companies, the straps and equipment stays with the trailer, which makes a lot more sense. And this, I can tell, is someone's personal straps, because this, so someone went out and bought these, and this is probably a couple hundred dollars worth of equipment on here, just holding all this steel down. So, I'm going to go home, spend another couple of hours at home, and enjoy company of family a little bit. And then we're going to come back here tonight, hook on, and take it down the road. In the meantime, in between now and then, I'm going to figure out who brought this here to make sure that I thank them and make sure that I know where to leave their equipment when I get back. So if you ever find that you're using someone else's equipment, always, always return it. Very often, like I've done this before too, I'll leave it in the yard and I'll leave it tied down for the next person. Do a little favor for them, a little less work. Because this would have taken, like imagine that. Imagine this. This would have taken a couple of hours to secure and tie down. And I really appreciate that. So, we got lucky this time. <laughs> we met a nice person. I've done this before, like I was going to say. Like, I've done this before for people and I've never seen my equipment again. And I paid for all my straps and stuff, so that's a couple hundred dollars worth of straps just missing. So we'll make sure we return it to its rightful owner. At least I hope that they left it on here for me, because I'm going to go home now for a couple of hours, and when I come back here, it better still be tied down. Because <laughs> at this point, I don't want to tie it down again. I came down here now to secure it, and it's already secured, so watch. We'll get back, and you know, they just went out for supper and came back to get all their straps. That would be my luck. But yeah, I checked it all. It all passes my inspection. It's all secure. So whenever we get back here later, just hook on and go. So let's go home for a bit. I brought the weasel with and everything to help me tie it down. Diesel, there are still good people in this world. They left their securement on there for me. Really? Have I mentioned this already? I really appreciate that. That just saved me at least two, maybe three hours that I can spend with family now. That's awesome, all right. Let's park the truck, let's go. And off we go, right, Diesel? We're in Brandon right now, on the way west with this steel. So I got a little ways last night yet, just enough so that I can make it to Atchison, Alberta tonight on my hours legally, if, uh, as long as I don't run into any weather. Hopefully not. It's it's that snowy feeling in the air, you know, and I can tell that it's going to start snowing very soon. 
Hopefully not today and hopefully not tomorrow. Or the next day. Okay. Got my breakfast. Yup. These things are good. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been cleared for takeoff. Please fasten your seatbelts and keep all arms and legs inside the ride at all times. We'll be making our departure from Brandon, Manitoba. Arriving to our destination in Atchison, Alberta in approximately 13 hours. Sit back, relax, and thank you for traveling with Trucker Josh. I don't know, is that, I don't fly a lot. Is that what they say on the planes when they fly? I don't fly a lot, I, I prefer to drive. So we got this big old load of steel behind me. Uh, I hate these loads. I shouldn't say hate, I, I really don't like them. They're so intricate and so many things could like wiggle loose. You gotta constantly, constantly pay very close attention to it to make sure that it doesn't shift. I mean, this, this load has traveled all the way up here from Missouri already with another driver. So any shifting that it would do, it should have done by now. But you still gotta, still gotta watch it. Anything can happen. I believe this load was picked up in St. Joseph, Missouri, USA. Going to a building site west of Edmonton there. I don't know what they're building. They're building something. And they're building it with American steel. Okay, do I, do, I, do I go? Do I go? Should I go? No, I shouldn't. Decided not to. Okay. This intersection here in Brandon is always a little tricky to get into. All these signs over here, I don't know if you can see them or not. They're right in the way so you can't see traffic coming to towards you. And it's always busy. Maybe they need to put traffic lights up here or something. Excuse me. Trucker Josh would like to enter the road. One more car. After this car, I'm not waiting anymore. I'm going. I'm going for it. I'm just going to send it. Here we go. Perfect. So yeah, the majority of our ride is today. Uh, I can drive, well, it says I have 11 hours, 53 minutes, but at midnight, it's because I drove past midnight yesterday. I do have 13 hours I can drive today. It's just, I can drive 11 hours, 53 minutes, but the, I'll get it back at midnight. I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> our hours of service are a little funny that way in Canada. For a break, we're here in Turn Whitewood, Saskatchewan. Quiet, Mandy. I'm talking. I just pulled into the Petro Pass here, Petro Canada. I'm just gonna grab a quick bite to eat. Nothing in the restaurant or anything. Just a quick little grab and go. Something with probably way too much unhealthy stuff in it. I want to get some progress behind me. I still have almost a thousand kilometers to go today yet, a little less. But it's gonna be a long day ahead yet. And I thought I slept really good last night. Like, I, I'm not feeling that tired. I just, I've slept better. 
So I'm not really sure what's going on. I just feel a little, uh, maybe that coffee I had this morning wasn't a good coffee. I don't know. You ever have that? Like you have like a really good night's sleep and you're ready to go. And then suddenly like two hours into your day, you're like, oh, I need a nap. Does this mean I'm getting old? I would love a nap. No time for a nap though. Do you know that there's over 500 or almost 500 calories? 490 to be exact in this delicious tart. That makes me so sad because I'm gonna eat it and it's gonna make me fat. But is it ever gonna taste good? Oh boy, that's my problem. My taste buds are against me. Just couldn't help myself. These tarts are so good. I shouldn't do that, I know, I shouldn't. But here we are. There's a lot of things that shouldn't be happening. 500 calories. And it's gone so fast. And you know how long I would have to walk to burn that off? It was a terrible decision taking taking that tart and eating it while I bought it. I didn't take it. Why is there this truck that's coming here is flashing his lights like crazy? Why are you flashing your lights? What do you want? I don't think he knows what he wants. Right. Maybe he's trying to warn us that there's a police radar up ahead or something. I don't like it when people do that. I never warn people when there's a cop up ahead. Maybe the cop's waiting there for someone for a reason, you know? Maybe there's a kidnapper on the way down the road and they're... You're gonna tip them off that there's a cop up ahead? Or maybe somebody's drinking and driving and they're speeding and that cop is gonna pull them over and get them out of the road and you're gonna warn them that there's a cop up ahead so that they don't get caught? No. Oh, if you're obeying the law, you shouldn't have to worry about if there's a cop up ahead or not. warn people that's your own business that's your own fault if you go speeding around the corner and you get a ticket that's your fault it's not mine for not warning you but if you warn people and it happens to be a bad guy who is now not going to get caught that's your fault rolling into Regina near this big fuel refinery. Still got 800 kilometers to go today yet. This is one of those days that just feels like it's taking forever to get anywhere. I'm only in Regina. I feel like I should be like passing Saskatoon right now. But it is what it is, I guess. So I'll probably end the vlog here. Uh, I gotta start tomorrow's vlog. Cause I sort of skipped a day. You didn't notice, I don't think. Maybe you did, I don't know. But we'll end the vlog here. We'll start from here tomorrow. So I hope you tune in and subscribe. We got a long way to go yet. And I could use the company. Diesel's sleeping. Take care, we'll see you later.